Hello everyone. So I'm not going live today to do a love scope. So I wanted to jump on anyway and give you a card for your sign for the week ahead. So we're going to pull some cards from the animal cards to see what animals are around you this week. Why and what that means. What's coming in for you as we transition into November and what's coming in around Halloween. So thank you for being here. And if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So we're going to start then with Aries. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for the week ahead for Aries? What animal is around Aries for the week ahead? Wow. Wow, Aries, we've got the grasshopper coming in for you. The grasshopper for inspiration. Look how beautiful that is. So much light behind you there. So this is showing you a new day is coming. You've been inspired. You've been shown the answers. You've been guided what to do. The grasshopper spirit animal chooses those who want to move ahead in life. When you are inspired by the grasshopper, jump forward and get past whatever is holding you back. Grasshopper's ability to connect and understand sound vibrations is why he is also a symbol of your inner voice. He could be telling you to trust yours. Wow. So when I'm tapping in with this, what I feel is that you're being inspired to move forward to go towards your dreams, to take action. And the answers are going to come towards you in your dreams, in your thoughts, in your mind. Things are going to pop in your head. So you'll know what to do, where to go, what to say. So you have to learn to understand the way your inner self is speaking to you, how your inner self is, is communicating things to you. And I feel meditation would be a great way of bringing this in. So the angels are saying to you, your inner voice is always speaking to you. So I feel your ear chakras are opening up. You've been healed. There's some kind of cleansing going on. I feel Archangel Raphael and Archangel Uriel around you. Raphael is healing you and opening you up. And Uriel is illuminating your mind and showing you the way. So the grasshopper is choosing you this week to show you that you can be, do and have whatever you desire. So Aries, this is going to be a really powerful week for you. If you listen, listen, trust believe and make desired forward motion. So whatever you're being shown, whatever action is coming to you, that will be inspired. So take inspired action towards your dreams. So if you start seeing a grasshopper, that's why. And they're also showing me the sound vibrations. So messages and music coming through, things you're hearing. So your ear chakras are going to be open this week. So pay attention to things that you're hearing. Things that you're, you know, being guided to watch, listen. You know, things if someone's speaking to you or if you overhear a conversation. You're going to receive all the signs and all the things you need to know to do. So the grasshopper is choosing you to move forward. So you're moving ahead in your life. So any dreams, goals, desires, even if it feels on hold right now, things are progressing. There is movement, there is change and you're being shown that. So go forward this week, confident, strong, knowing who you are because you've been guided above. Have a great week, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon. Wow. Taurus, welcome. So let's see what animal is around you today and coming in for the week ahead. Wow, so you've got here the peace, you've got the dove, how beautiful. You've got doves around you. So a lot of peace coming in around you this week. And I feel Archangel Honiel around you, the angel of peace. And what she will do is she will calm your mind, she will relax you, and she will help you to know that wherever you are, whatever you do, that you are safe. The dove represents peace of the deepest kind. She soothes and quiets our worries or our troubled thoughts, enabling us to find renewal in the silence of the mind. Allow the dove to bring in a peace to help you to go about your day calmly and with purpose. So I feel this dove is showing you that you can relax your mind and be in the moment right now. Breathwork, meditation, relaxation, going for a walk in nature, Calling on Archangel Honiel will calm your mind. So she will soothe you this week and she will help you to get rid of any worries. So you give those worries or those troubled thoughts to her and she will transmute them and heal them and help you to feel safe. 
So the dove is representing to you that you can find peace now. So I feel you may see doves. And this is really powerful because if you're a twin flame, which you probably are, I did a song and it was when doves cry. You know, I talked about it. And go and listen to that song by Prince because it will bring in healing. So allow this dove to bring this peace in. So allow Archangel Honiel to bring peace into your heart this week, to soothe you, whatever you're going through. Any troubles, they're not troubles when you give it to heaven because you will feel relaxed and calm. So Taurus, let things go, breathe, relax, and know that you are safe. Move forward fearlessly into your week, knowing that you are safe and that you are protected and there's nothing to fear. Have a great week, sending you so much love, and I'll see you soon. Wow. Gemini, welcome. So let's shuffle and see what message is coming through for you. Wow. Wow, you've got the penguin for fortitude. And you've also got butterflies in there too. And look what the penguins are doing there. They're holding hands. So this is also a message about love, a message about relationships improving, harmony, transformation and change. Your penguin is reminding you that you can get through this tough period if you remain focused and centered. You will know just what you need to do at just the right moment. Penguin urges you to keep moving forward with your plans and hand Handle each problem as it comes to you. Take it slowly but surely and you will receive your major breakthrough. Wow. Especially in relationships, major breakthroughs. Things are being transformed and healed right now. So take it slow. There's no need to rush. There's no need to fear. The angels are reminding you to stay focused, to get centered. And then you'll know what to do. So if you start worrying about anything, Give it to heaven, they will guide you and show you the way. And the angels are saying you will get through this. Things will get better because this is a time of transformation right now in your life. And you are safe and protected. There's nothing to fear. So give it to heaven. And I really feel Archangel Gabriel around you this week too. Moving you forward, giving you strength, helping you to speak your mind, bringing in new beginnings in love bringing in new beginnings in your life, helping you to move exactly where you're meant to be. So love your life, take it slow, there's nothing to fear, you are safe. Have a great week, sending you so much love, and I'll see you soon, wow. Cancer, welcome, I'm a Cancer, excited to do this message. What do you need to know, please, for the week ahead? There we go. Wow, we've got two, we've got horse and we've got griffin. Wow. So the horse is about passion and the griffin is about a spiritual endeavor. So I feel you becoming more passionate towards your spiritual path, towards your, your spiritual endeavors, your adventures, your new beginnings, the things you want to do, your gifts and your talents, your spiritual path is guiding you to do. So you're being shown the way. Now the horse also signifies freedom and moving forward towards what you want, taking control. And the griffin is powerful because the griffin is like this mythical creature that will move you where you're meant to be. You get a glimpse of your true essence of freedom in your life with the horse spirit at your side. You are strong and can carry on over the roughest roads and the toughest obstacles. You have the drive, the passion and the energy not to give up. Wow. So don't give up cancer. And I love this has come up for me with what I'm going through right now. Don't give up. Keep that passion going. Keep that passion burning for what you want. And you will be given everything you need. So you are safe. And the griffin is saying to you, you may need to look to see if your human and spiritual bodies are in balance. So are you looking after yourself enough? Are you getting enough rest? Are you having fun? Or are you just putting everything into your work right now? Make sure you're balancing out work and play. You could either be too focused on earthly endeavours forgetting that in essence you are a spirit or you may be too entrenched in spiritual lessons ignoring important lessons that the human form is offering to you well that's absolutely spot on for me and I'm a cancer so this is saying to you free yourself up take your time there's no need to rush you're going over some rough roads but smooth roads will come so just relax see this is an opportunity to get things in order to balance your emotions, to balance your world, to sort things out because you were loved and safe. So just enjoy your week. 
Take your time. There's no need to rush. Don't give up. You've got this and heaven has got you. And I feel Archangel Michael around you this week, Cancer, giving you the strength to carry on. I hope that helps. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Well, Leo, welcome Leo. Okay, let's see what you need to know for the week ahead. What do we need to know, please, for Leo? Wow, cards on the floor. We've got the dog and we've got the mouse. Wow. And dog is about loyalty and community and knowing that you are supported, not only from above, but also in your world. And the mouse is about opportunities coming in. So I feel you're being given the opportunity to spend time with loyal people, to bring more more people together to build a community right now so this is where you are you're seeing the light you're seeing the truth you're being guided where you're meant to be and there's a community here you know we are a family so if this is your first time watching welcome this is showing you that you are loved and safe so the dog says it's inviting you to see through the illusions and tune into what others are saying so see through the illusion illusion is fear and fear is illusion it's not truth so see through that and listen and tune in to what others are saying. So remember also that some people may say things, but that is not truly how they feel because there's an illusion there. So remember, see through what's going on on the surface and remember that there's a lot of loyalty within. Remember that hurt people hurt people. So look within. It's a reminder that the world does not revolve around you and that you should learn to be sensitive to the plight of other people. So this is also saying to you, Gemini, don't, sorry, Leo, okay, this could be a connection there, thank you then, with a Gemini. So if you're a twin flame watching, if your masculine is a Gemini, this will really resonate with you or it could be about what you're going through, especially if you've got Gemini aspects of your chart. I feel very similar energy here this week. Don't take things personal. Okay, the message says it doesn't revolve around you. So in other words, don't take anything personally. If someone does something that hurts you, don't take it personally. Remember, hurt people hurt people, especially with twin flames, it's Gemini twins. So I feel this is also very much about the twin flame journey. Don't take things personally. Trust in yourself and disregard that tiny voice saying that you can't do it. So that's the ego. So trust in yourself. Rise up and see through the illusion of fear. Rise through any pettiness going on or any squabbles or any drama or conflict and see the truth because this dog is reminding you of loyalty. And I feel this is a big message for twin flames that your masculine is loyal to you, especially if you've got a Gemini connection there too. Okay, you've got this Leo, okay? We've also got the mouse and opportunity the mouse is telling you to look at what is right in front of your eyes and take action. Fertility, abundance and expansion is now at your fingertips. Use this energy to produce new ideas, development, creativity and social connections. Any number of opportunities are available for you right now. And I love that you've got the social connections when you've got the community there. So this is also about building a community, finding your support center, knowing that you are loved. And sometimes you're as quiet as a mouse too. So if you're a bit quiet, then you'll find the people that you can be yourself with. Trust in this. You're developing your creativity right now, finding out what you want to do, being guided through ideas. And when I'm tapping in with this, I'm feeling Archangel Gabriel around you, helping you to know that this is a fertile time, that money is coming to you, that you are expanding your horizons and opportunities are flowing in. And I also feel Archangel Ariel around you and Archangel Zadkiel, Ariel opening you up for financial rewards for new opportunities for great things ahead and Zadkiel helping you to remember who you are so don't worry about anything this week Leo don't take anything personally especially if it comes at you from your twin flame or a Gemini just rise up and know that you are safe have a great week sending you so much love and I'll see you soon well welcome Virgo so let's see what you need to know this week there we go so the message coming up, I've got a few coming out here. Wow. 
Wow, we've got the deer and I've got the dragonfly. So the deer here is shown as a stag and the stag is the promise of union in the twin flame journey. And the dragonfly is a symbol of change that changes in the air. So I feel change coming in if you're a twin flame in your journey. But this is about you understanding that you are becoming more sensitive because you are a light worker. That's why you're feeling that energy. So I feel you may be feeling what your divine masculine is going through. I feel that you're feeling all of your emotions, all of your feelings right now. The deer is sensitivity. You are highly sensitive and possess a strong and innate intuition. By having an affinity with the deer, you have the power to deal with any challenges with grace. Be vigilant, move quickly and trust your instincts to get out of tricky situations. So I feel Archangel Michael and Archangel Honey are with you, opening doors for you, helping you to feel safe to know that you are strong. And I also feel Archangel Samuel helping you to find your way, to find what you were seeking, but also to find your way. And the dragonfly is about change and you moving where you're meant to be. You possess the power of light. You are the light. The dragonfly symbolizes change and transformation and being open to experience new things. It's usually symbolic of something big unfolding in your personal journey. Every flight the dragonfly takes is precious yet unforgettable. And your twin flame journey is precious yet unforgettable. So this is about change in the twin flame journey and in your own world as you become more sensitive to your gifts because you are a light worker and you have a mission and you are ready. So if you're seeing stags or deers or dragonflies, things are changing. So get ready for this change. You're being guided to exactly where you're meant to be. Have a great week sending you so much love and I'll see you soon. Wow. Libra, welcome. So let's see what's coming in around you for the week ahead. Okay, let me just, oh yeah, this is the one. I've got two coming out for you. I've got spider and I've got the heron here. Herons signify insight and spiders are about receptivity. Now, spiders are also messengers from the universe that things are unraveling perfectly, that things are being created for you because it's also a card of creation. And I feel you're receptive now to receiving all the insight that you need. And this is what the heron is showing to you. You're standing tall, gaining confidence. A remarkable figure of feminine energy and creativity. The spider is the master of intricate weaving and patience. And your affinity with this spirit animal means that you too may possess qualities of high receptivity and creativity. Having the spider as a totem helps you ingeniously weave every step of your destiny. So in other words, your destiny is being woven right now. You just have to have patience. You just have to trust. And if you're a divine feminine, you're experiencing all of the aspects of who you are. All you're doing right now is being guided to relax, to breathe, to take your time, to trust in your journey and to know that you are safe. And whoever you are, Wherever you are, you are protected and the universe has got your back. The heron is saying to you, you are being called to have courage and follow your true path to enjoy your journey, which will be discovered through exploring your inner self. Your innate wisdom will show you how to be more self-reliant and the heron is here to remind you that grounding yourself in the earth and your spiritual beliefs will help you discover emotional insights more clearly. How amazing is that? So you're becoming more clear about the future. You're becoming more clear about your journey. You're starting to have patience and trust in divine timing. And the universe has got your back. And this spider is showing that to you, that things are unraveling, that your destiny is being woven and everything is falling into place. So relax, have courage, move forward fearlessly knowing that you are safe. Have a great week sending you so much love. Let go of fears. They're giving me a little bit of fear there. Let go of fears. You are loved and you are safe. Have a great week and I'll see you soon. Wow. 
Okay, uh, Scorpio. Wow, 1919 then as I went into your Scorpio. It's really powerful. And remember, it's your birthday time right now. I'm doing daily readings for you too. So before I pick you a card, because it is a special time for you right now, I'm going to read you what 1919 means because I feel this is significant. So if you start seeing that number, really powerful. 1919 you have been invited to connect with the energy of the divine feminine both within you and around you mother and feminine healing is possible at this time so you're going through a transformation and a healing tapping in with your feminine side so if you're feminine you're very sensitive and in tune with your emotions this week and if you're masculine or if you're watching this and you're not a twin flame or you're not aware that you're a twin flame you are feeling emotions you are tapped in with your intuition you are tuning in with who you are and you've got wow the owl for wisdom so you're also connecting with your infinite wisdom remembering your truth seeing things clearly understanding they're in darkness you find the light it's time to face the shadows the owl belongs to those who find wisdom in silence so you may find this week you want to be alone or you want some time alone you want some time off you want to be alone with your thoughts to think go for a walk spend time in nature Follow this bird to reach your higher self and see things from a spiritual perspective. So the owl is going to be around you, helping you to see things from a new perspective, a spiritual side, understanding that there's always a reason behind all things and that you are safe. If there are skeletons hiding in your closet, you can count on an owl to help you address them. So you're clearing out the clutter. You're going over the past. You're going over things. So you're healing. And I love it says if there are skeletons in the closet because this is Halloween week too. So I feel you may be having a clear out. You're clearing things out. You're sorting things out. And the owl is helping you to do so. So a lot of wisdom, power and passion coming into your life and your world this week. Enjoy it and keep the faith. Have a great week sending you so much love. And I'll see you soon. Wow. Sagittarius welcome let's see what you need to know then for this week wow we've got the mammoth here wow and this is primal instinct look at that mammoths are huge beings you know if you're a game of thrones fan you'll see the mammoths in that you know you know how big they are so this is about things increasing and getting bigger in your journey that means you're feeling stronger you know you're following your primal instincts you're trusting in your heart the ancient spirit is linking you with your primeval of awareness and strength we all have forces within us that are ready to be activated fear survival and the power of imagination channel these forces in a constructive and a balanced way and they could lead to great pleasure so you may be feeling great pleasure this week. You may be feeling, you know, passion energy coming in around you, feeling the heat, desire, wanting things, movement. So I feel this is about rushing ahead, but it's also about channeling those passions into something you're creating, mastering your emotions, taking control, and remembering that sometimes you follow your primal instinct and it could backfire. So this is also a message to take a step back instead of reacting, take a breath and then respond with love and compassion and understanding because this week kindness is the key to all things. So release any fears, let go. I feel Archangel Michael boosting your strength this week, giving you power, helping you to see. So understand that you are safe and protected all as well. Channel everything you're feeling into the power of your future and everything you're intending and the power of your thoughts. Have a great week sending you so much love and I'll see you soon. Wow. Uh, we got Capricorn. Welcome, Capricorn. What do we need to know for Capricorn, please, angels? Here we go. So we've got coming out for you a wolf for intuition and the cat for confidence. Wow. Two powerful creatures there. And cats are cute and cuddly, but they're also, wow, you know, the mini lions. So cats are very strong and powerful creatures. So this is a sign for you to have confidence this week, to go forward confidently, especially with your intuition. So trust your intuition, be confident in the signs you're receiving from above. Your wolf animal is your higher self speaking to you, helping you to see the good in the bad and to see the light in the dark. 
when the wolf shows up in your life, pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. If you don't quite trust someone or your own feelings or actions, use your instincts to guide you. The spirit animal will bring a sharp intelligence in dealing with important matters. So anything you're dealing with this week, your intuition will guide you, that feeling you get in your gut, knowing the truth, especially with movement and change. And the cat, this magical, mysterious cat, turns up when you need self-confidence and reassurance. So it feels like there's some reassurance coming to you. And maybe you haven't been trusting your intuition as much as you should, but you've been reminded to. It's reassuring you that what you feel is always real. Like a cat, you are fun, you are flirtatious and free, but don't forget that you also have responsibilities. The cat reminds you to take life easy, cats need their sleep and so do you. So I feel you're also being guided to meditate, to calm your energy, to breathe, to relax, to have some fun, but also to nurture yourself and to take care of your needs as well as your priorities. So you will have a lot going on, but you're also being guided to take time for you because that's where your power is. Have a great week, sending you so much love, and I'll see you soon. Wow. Aquarius, welcome. So let's see what the angels are bringing in for you. What do you need to know for this week ahead? Wow. We've got the hummingbird and the panda. Wow. And the hummingbird is about communication and about optimism. Seeing the bigger picture, seeing things from a positive point of view. And the panda is about balance and striving forward, fearlessly knowing that you are safe. Always actively seeking the sweetest nectar, the hummingbird reminds us to forever seek out the good in life and the beauty in each day. The sweetest nectar is within. So I feel this is a message about gratitude, inner healing, strength, power and confidence in where you are. It's about trusting your journey, loving life. So I feel Archangel Jophiel around you, helping you to see the beauty in everything, the good in all things, to see the good in the bad and the light in the dark the panda is giving you strength so i feel archangel michael around you too if you identify with the panda you're likely very aware of your environment and the energies around you so you're picking up more on what's going on so keep shielding yourself from fear there's a lot of fear in the world right now and archangel michael will shield you from any toxic energy Make sure you learn how to keep your emotional balance. You may feel like you need strong material and physical comfort to feel at ease in your life. The panda reminds you to nurture your energies to restore true inner balance. So you're being guided to restore your inner balance by calming your mind, by shielding yourself from toxic energy and to looking for the good in things. So don't look for the negatives or see the negatives going on. Change your perception into a positive outlook and then everything will start to fly and get better. I also feel communication coming in for you this week. So keep things positive and keep the faith. Have a great week sending you so much love and I'll see you soon. Well, Pisces, welcome. Let's see what you need to know for the week ahead. Wow. So we've got the snow leopard coming out for you and this is instinct and this is obviously someone moving forward with confidence here. So I feel you're striving forward with confidence. You know your worth. You're trusting your instincts. You're trusting how you feel and you're camouflaging that. So you're really fitting in, you know, with everything. So this is also a sign that if you feel like you're fitting in with something and you feel like you don't need to do that right now, fit in with yourself, stand your ground. Supreme Master of Intuition, the Snow Leopard teaches you the art and mastery of listening to and trusting your instincts. Your journey starts high in the mountains. The Snow Leopard leads you to a rocky outcrop where you view the endless possibilities and dreams beneath you trust in the path you choose so the angels are saying to you you're being shown the bigger picture this week you're being shown the way that your dreams will become reality but maybe you need to step out of your comfort zone to do this or this could be a person you're connecting with that needs to step out of theirs that maybe they are dimming right now to fit in and they need to stand out so the angels are saying to you, move forward fearlessly. I feel Archangel Michael around you giving you strength and Archangel Jeremiah moving you towards the right path. And remember, wherever you do, wherever you go, all paths lead home. 
And this leopard is showing you your courage, you know, your courage and strength. You're moving forward. You're being given power. So you're the master of your intuition. You're being taught to master your emotions, to master your feelings, to know your worth. So have a great week. If you feel like you're dimming your light a little bit to fit in with what's going on around you, now's the time to take control. Stand your ground, speak your truth, move forward fearlessly, and then you'll be shown exactly what to do. Have a great week sending you so much love, and I'll see you soon.